Okay, so this is a soldering tutorial for the Hackberry Lab Light Up Keychain. Um, to get started, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your kit, and we're going to do a quick little inventory here to make sure we've got all of our components so that we can solder up a keychain that lights up. One of the very first things that you're going to look for uh, is the Hackberry Lab uh, Keychain PCB. Uh, it's got two sides, one side that has a little Hackberry Lab logo on it, and one side that has this circle, um, and this is where our battery is going to go at the end. Next thing you're going to look for is you're going to have seven of these pink LEDs. Okay, and we're going to test all of these in just a second. You want to make sure that you have a little push button for turning it off and on, a battery holder, a battery itself, and a little key ring. So, as we mentioned, um, we need to make sure that each of our LEDs um, can get, you know, lit up so that we don't want to solder anything permanently into this board that doesn't work. <clears throat> the way that you can actually test that is if you look at the LEDs, you'll notice that there's one lead uh, that's longer than the other, and this is the positive side. And if you look at your battery, you'll notice that there's a little plus sign on it, and that lets you know. And so to test a battery, you can literally just kind of wrap around both sides and verify that it's working. And so we'll test each of our seven LEDs to make sure that they are all functional. Okay, so far so good. You will notice that they are Hackberry pink, of course. And if for some reason one doesn't like turn on, so for example it's like this, you might just double check to make sure you've got it oriented the right way, um, and it'll probably light up. But if not, just let me know and we'll, we'll get you an extra one. Okay, now at this point what we want to do is we want to uh, begin to solder our first LED in. To do this, we are going to turn on our soldering iron, and so there's a little switch here that we can flip on, um, and it's going to begin heating up to 480 degrees. Um, but as that's heating up, we want to go ahead and get our first LED sort of put on the board, and you'll notice that uh, on each of these little circles where the LEDs go, uh, there's a little minus and there's a little plus. And it's really important that you get the LED um, put in the proper way, um, because if you put it in backward, then your your keychain's not going to light up. And so again, remembering that that long pin is the plus, I'm going to slot this LED through and push it all the way to the bottom with the, the legs coming out the other side. Uh, now at this point, what I really like to do is take a little piece of tape and put that tape over the LED and kind of just like stick it to the board. Uh, and this kind of holds it in place so it doesn't kind of jiggle around very much. Um, in order to uh, kind of hold it in place for the next step, which is soldering. I'm also going to take these little helping hands uh, and kind of push the board into it to hold it in place. Now, with the soldering iron kind of heated up to 480 degrees, we're going to take it out of the holder. And we do want to be pretty careful with it. This entire metal area gets really, really hot. Um, and so you wouldn't want to touch that with your fingers. You just want to hold it in your hand. Uh, and I find the best way to hold it is kind of like you would a pencil. That gives you kind of the most control over it. So with it kind of cleaned, we're going to add a little bit of solder. Um, this is the solder wire. I'm just going to put it on the tip here, and it's going to let off a little bit of smoke. Now, um, if that smoke is bothering you, you can turn on your little fan that will uh, kind of pull it away a little bit easier. And so we're going to put a little bit on there and kind of put it into this little brass sponge, which will clean the tip off. Okay, so now we've got a nice clean soldering tip. Now what we want to do is we want to solder on uh, a little bit of this solder wire um, to make a clean connection between the wire and the little uh, silver circle pads here. What we want to do is we want to actually make sure uh, that we don't solder the two wires together. They need to stay separate. What we're really trying to do is we're going to put the soldering iron on one side, the wire on the other side, and we're going to bring them together to make a, a little, I call it a solder sandwich. And so we're going to try to zoom in here a little bit to kind of get a much closer look at how this is going to, uh, to work. Okay. So in this picture, you can see I've got one wire coming out of this side. I've got the other wire coming out of this side. And you see that little silver ring. That's what I want to get covered with solder. And so I'm going to bring my soldering iron and my solder together and heat that up just a little bit. And you can see that there's a small little bit of solder just right up covering up that entire 
a uh, little ring there. I'm going to do it on this side as well. Okay. And what we can do now is we can kind of inspect our part to see how we did. Okay. So I'm going to take a little bit of a closer look here. All right. And what you can see here is I've got two little volcanoes of solder. And that's just right. You don't want those, those two solder uh, points to be touching each other. Um, that would be bad. You want them to be actually quite separate from each other. If for some reason they do accidentally touch, um, you can usually take the soldering iron tip and kind of swipe it through the middle, uh, and that will carry away some of that excess solder, but they need to be separated from each other. Now at this point, what you can do is you can pull the tape off, and you can notice that the, uh, the LED is uh, kind of held in place, and that's great, and it's making a strong electrical connection here as well. We don't want to keep these long pins, and so what we're going to do is we're going to take our diagonal cutters, and we're going to go relatively close to the board, and we're going to snip them off. Now, you notice that just goes flying off. And so when you do this, make sure you're pointing it away from your face or away from anyone else, because they go flying. And at that point, again, you can see that I've got two very distinctive solder joints here. So what we're going to do next um, is we're going to go ahead and solder on the remaining LEDs. So we're going to do all six LEDs first. And then I'm going to show you how to do the button, and then the battery is going to be last. So we're going to refocus down here. And I'm going to solder up the rest of these, one at a time. Okay. Now at this point, you can see that I've got all seven LEDs soldered in and nice flat points that are all separate from each other. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, little push button here. And the little push button goes up here in the upper right hand corner. Uh, and it doesn't actually matter kind of if you've got it one way or the other, uh, as long as you line it up okay. And you'll need to kind of pop it through the edge. And what's nice is it kind of holds itself into place. Um, and so you don't need to use the tape for this unless it just seems really loose. And so it's got little four little joints that we're going to solder into. Focus here just a little bit better. And so we'll do all four. So one, two, three, four. And it's all soldered in. Okay. And so here we can see we've got the little button ready to go. Okay, so at this point we've got all of the uh, LEDs on and our, our uh, switch on. Uh, and we want to kind of get our battery on there. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that it is uh, oriented the right way. So you can see that I've kind of put the battery in there with the plus side facing up. Uh, and what we can do is we can kind of check the orientation before we solder anything in. You'll notice that there's a circle here with a rectangle down at the bottom. And that actually matches the circle shape of our battery holder um, with this little rectangle down at the bottom as well. And so I'm just going to kind of place it in the two holes and kind of flip it over and push the button and kind of make sure that I'm getting you know, all the LEDs to light up. And that, that's good. That means we've got a good connection. And that means that we can then actually solder it in into this hole and this hole. And so I'm going to you know, put it here in the holder. And I'm going to feed in solder on that joint right there. <clears throat> and then flip it around. And I'm going to do this joint right here. And just make sure it's pretty well filled with solder. And we'll double check our work at this point. It should be soldered in and it should be flashing very bright, all LEDs. And then what that lets us do is we can add our little keychain to it. And you've got a Hackberry Lab light up keychain. Uh, and so you'll want to take a picture of this both uh, with uh, out the lights on and then one with the lights on to show that all seven LEDs are working. And after that, make sure you turn the uh, soldering station off. And again, you can kind of clean your tip by just pushing it into this little brass sponge and you're good. And that's it.